Hello everyone and welcome to the lectures of performance management paper F5. In my previous lecture I have discussed about the learning curve theory and in this lecture we are going to learn about the standard costing and basic variances. Well, standard costing is the parallel system to the traditional accounting system and I can say that standard is a benchmark, it is an expected cost and the difference between the actual cost and expected cost is known as a variance. Now we will see uh, the variance analysis. Now the diff as I've said uh, that the difference between between the actual cost and the expected cost is known as a variance. And if the variance is favorable, we have achieved the better results. Means that if the actual cost is less than the expected cost, the actual cost is less than the expected cost then the result is favorable we have achieved the better results and if the situation is opposite that the actual cost is greater than the expected cost then the variance will be adverse so it means that we have performed poorly and we need to work hard and improve that product now moving onwards types of standards there are three basic type of standard means idle standards, basic standards and attainable standards. Idle standards assumes the perfect working condition where there is no allowance for any loss, for any waste and any machine breakdown and it can be used as a long term organization goals. But it, this uh, idle standard is available in every uh, mission statement. This idle standard is available in every organization. but uh, this standard is not useful this standard is not achievable because uh, it is not possible that in the production there is no losses there are no wastage and there are no machine breakdown there are some minor losses going on when the production is going on so uh, this is not an achievable standard now basic standard is a long term standard which remains unchanged over the years and then comes the attainable standards known as the realistic standard or you can say the achievable standards and in this there are some allowance for the material losses there are some allowance for the wastage and machine breakdown so this uh, standard is uh, uh, achievable standard because there are some minor uh, allowances for the losses and it is used for budgeting and budgetary control now the importance of variance analysis the importance of various variance analysis why it is important it is important for cost control that if cost is increasing then we should need some we should need to control that cost we should stop uh, that uh, cost where it is causing us increase and then assigning the responsibility and accountability that who is responsible for that increase in the cost and who is accountable for this situation and helps in decision making then now we understand what the problem is then we should make decision we should take decisions uh, to improve uh, and get out from this uh, situation and try to stop the cost and performance appraisal that if someone is performing well uh, an employer in an organization is performing uh, well for the organization then it is uh, good to good to uh, measure the performance of the employee now in this video we have gone to uh, gone through this the theory of this uh, standard costing and basic variances now in the next video in the next part we are going to solve a question uh, practical question that will uh, come into the exam and uh, that's all for this video and if you like this video and if you learned something from this video then uh, do like and share my video thank you